integrate arc sine of x quantity squared solution. To do this, uh, we'll start by using integration by parts. So recall the formula says if you have the integral of u dv, that's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So in this problem here, we have the arc sine of x squared dx. So we'll start by letting u uh, be equal to arc sine of x quantity squared. That forces dv to be equal to dx. Taking the derivative here, we'll use the power rule, so this is du. You put the 2 in the front, and you get arc sine of x to the first power times the derivative of the inside. That's, that's via the chain rule. So 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Then we'll integrate dv. That'll give us v. Integrating dx gives us x. All right, let's use parts. So we get uv. So x arc sine x quantity squared minus the integral of v du. So just multiplying these two. So it'll be, um, I'll leave the two, um, I'll leave the two inside. So two arc sine x and then times x over the square root stuff here, dx. All right, I think uh, we should use maybe parts again. So let's try using parts again. Let me switch colors here. Um, let's let u be arc sine. And then dv is everything else. So dv will be 2x over this here. All right, so du is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. That's easy. Now we're going to integrate this. When we do that, we'll get v here. And this integral here is not too hard. I'll, I'll, I'll work it out briefly up here. You would let w equal 1 minus x squared. So dw would be negative 2x dx, going kind of fast. Multiplying by negative 1, you would get uh, 2x dx. So this guy here would become negative dw over the square root of w. You would bring it upstairs. You would get w to the negative 1 half dw. You would add 1. So you would get negative w to the 1 half divided by 1 half, which is the same thing as multiplied by 2. Right? So this would give you 2, the negative square root 1 minus x squared. Did that really, really quick. I'll leave that one to you, um, so it's just a regular u sub integral. All right, let's continue. So we have the integral of arc sine x squared. Kind of a tough problem, so I omitted some details. Um, and then we have this here, so x arc sine. The hard part, I think, is knowing to use parts twice. And then minus, I'll put a bracket here, so it's uv, so it's negative 2 square root 1 minus x squared arc sine x minus the integral of v du. Oh, this is beautiful because look, um, they cancel. There's already a minus, so it's going to become a plus. 2 dx, right? Because these cancel. Works out really, really nicely. So this is equal to x arc sine x quantity squared plus 2 square root 1 minus x squared arc sine x minus, right, there's a minus now, minus 2x plus c. So I kind of rushed through uh, some parts of this video. It was only, you know, not even five minutes, um, but hopefully uh, it made some sense. I hope it helps someone. That's it.